Hey everybody, this is Craig. You know how hard it is to not put something after that. Anyways, hi everybody, this is Craig. Today I'm going to be reviewing Disgaea 3, Absence of Detention, for the PlayStation Vita. Now, before I say this, I'm going to go off and I'm just going to say that it's kind of like a surface review, because anybody who's played Disgaea, any of this, the Disgaea games, you know that you can't really review a Disgaea game for all the content that it has in it uh, immediately after it comes out. And I know it's been out for a couple weeks now, a few weeks now, Qu quite a few weeks now. <laughs> but uh, Disgaea has a lot of content to it. All the Disgaea games do, and this one is no exception. I mean, it's just like the other ones. It pretty much is the other ones, just with Mao instead of Laharl. Um, <laughs> I love Laharl very much. Uh... Disgaea feels better handheld. Uh, I don't know how many of you actually played Disgaea 1 or 2, uh, the PSP versions, or even the, the DS version of the first Disgaea. Uh, it feels at home. I think actually the, the graphical style of the game actually feels more at home on a handheld now that the handheld is powerful enough to run um, a Disgaea game. If you don't know what Disgaea is, I don't even know how you found my video. <laughs> Disgaea is a... RPG, but it's a strategy RPG where, you know, you're given certain blocks to move around in certain battle sequences, and uh, you need to use the combination of powers of your characters to defeat other characters, but you need to be smart when you do it. If you're, you know, just a run-into-action type person, you will not, you will not go very far in this game. Um, anyways, back to the fact that it's Disgaea 3. Disgaea 3, I actually played... On the PlayStation 3, Dan played it on the PlayStation 3. People at my work have played it. I apparently got the like one of the worst endings that you can get because there's multiple endings in Disgaea 3. Um, so just going off of what I played for the PS3 one, um, I am already past where I got before. But going off what I played, it is much better on the handheld. I feel like my attention is a lot more towards the game. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Like, if I'm playing it on a console, since I'm not generally a, a really, like, hardcore JRPG guy, I mean, I have my weird ones that I like, 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 beating Kaitos and stuff, but that's not even really JRPGs. I'm not really 100% for them on consoles anymore, just because they take a large amount of time, but with the way my life is now, with my kid and all, um, if he's sleeping on my chest, I'm not going to get up and change a game in my Xbox or my PS3. I'm going to grab from my Vita, and right now what's in my Vita is Disgaea, and I've been playing the shit out of it, and I really like this type of game because a battle can take you anywhere from 5 minutes to 25 minutes, and it's great because, you know, you can press the sleep button and you can pick up where you've been, uh, where, you, where you left off, and, and I think that's what makes this much better a portable version. Um, as far as the extra content goes, I mean, if it says anything in the back, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It says a couple new bosses and additional storylines, but there isn't really much you can add to a Disgaea. Like I was saying, you can't really review the content in a Disgaea probably ever because the level cap in Disgaea is actually nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine for each character. You can every character that you make, you can bring up to level nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and that shit ain't gonna happen. <laughs> this shit ain't gonna happen in a thousand hours, you know what I mean? So, unless you find some kind of glitch in which you're not really enjoying the game if you're going out of your way to do that. But that's debatable, I guess. But, I think that this game is a great game that fits perfectly on the Vita, and it goes with the other Vita games that I've done reviews for that I said, you know, they just feel good on the Vita. Um, as far as taking games from the bigger, con bigger consoles, like... Uh, Mortal Kombat lost some of uh, the looks of it in translation from the PS3 and the 360 versions down to the Vita. Uh, Rayman, not so much. Rayman, I think that was, was 2D. Disgaea lost nothing. Disgaea runs exactly the same. It feels exactly the same, but it's just portable. So, I mean, if you like Disgaea on consoles and you're a hardcore fan, obviously you probably already have Disgaea 3 for the Vita. If you're using Disgaea as a... Uh, a weighing option of like, oh, well, here's the games I want to stack up to get a Vita. Disgaea is one of those games that's going to carry you through a drought of games. So, I mean, like, if you're weighing out, like, there's not enough for the Vita. There's a couple games I want to play, and that's it. And you like Disgaea, or you're looking to try something new, this is that game that's going to bridge you between games. And, uh, 
that's really what it's going to do for me uh, until they announce it, whatever they're going to have coming at, at E3. Um, it's one of the better games, it is. And the fact that it's really the first, you know, RPG on there, even though it's already been remade, is also, you know, a good thing. I don't know if you guys know a lot about Nippon Ichi. It's the company who makes Diskea, but uh, Nippon Ichi is always in the toilet as far as finances, and then they release a Diskea, and they're a godlike status. So these games are a pretty big deal. And uh, the fact that I'm even receiving it so well, portable, while I clearly prefer consoles over anything, is it's kind of a good thing. So definitely check it out. If you like Diskea, obviously you already know that you're going to like it. If you played Diskea 3 and you don't want to play it again, don't buy this game. Um, I don't think there's enough new content to make it justifiable for you. Um, it's the equivalent of they changed the subtitle and they added a few new things, just a few new tweaks. And if you want to buy something new and you're looking for your first RPG for your Vita that's not downloadable, obviously it is downloadable, but your first retail release, Diskea is the way to go. That's all I can say. <laughs> and uh, as far as other handheld ones go, I got another handheld game that I'm going to start playing and I will be reviewing. I never know actually where you can see it on the camera, but it's uh, Devil Survivor Overclocked. That'll be my next handheld review. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.